And it all comes down to this, the final of the UEFA Women's Champions League. It is Manchester United, and they take on Real Madrid. The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan, don't take risks in your defending third, and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. And the match is underway. I must say, this looks promising. And players waiting at the far post. Well, not the best clearance. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Russo. Now, can she put this one away? And a goal for United! The opener in the final! And it could be hugely significant! Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. And out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. Not a great pass. And teammates around her. But the danger averted for now. Atenia Gonzalez Sandy Toletti moving the ball nicely trying to carve out the equaliser oh keeper dealt with it and well, they're going for the short one And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Alessia Russo. Here's Paris. United might be able to cash in. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Can she find the right pass? Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. effective clearance having won the ball back they might be able to profit now will the cross work out for them not messing around with that clearance Gonzalez Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Carmona. 
Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Now, who can she play it to? Is she going to score? No way through. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, she's misfired with that header, and then some. Feller. Well, there it is. United haven't had as much of the ball, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Now that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. Giving it a try, and she's fired it just over the bar. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Alessia Russo and Paris. Chance here, a smart stop here. In a short corner, let's see. And possibilities here. Cutting infield here. Straight forward for the keeper. Possession given away, unfortunately. Weir. And now, passing it through. Wonderful chance. Unable to put the seal on victory. Well, what a chance, Derek. Into the advanced position. Firing it in. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance at a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. Really a match made in heaven between players and fans.
And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.